guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Beck. and um, today we're gonna do a really great arm stretch. Um, this is one that I try and do for myself a few times a week. It's great um, if you suffer from tension in the shoulders, neck, upper back, arms, and it's also a great one to do post workout or sort of in between sports and things like that. So um, yeah, it's called in yoga. It's called Garuda or um, eagle, eagle arms. So you can do it standing, you can do it sitting. Um, I quite like to do it kneeling, that's so quite a good position. So I'll show it you from kneeling, but yeah, you can do it sitting or standing as well. So um, also the other thing, if you are a little bit tight, you might find that you need a belt as well. So belts are quite handy for quite a few of the arm stretches in yoga. So um, yeah, just come to um, a comfy position. And the main thing is that we're um, sort of lengthening up through the spine and just connecting with our breathing. So um, quite often in the arm stretches, what we tend to do is stick, stick the chest forward and we tend to arch the lower back. So this could be if you're sitting or if you're standing. So I just want you to make sure you've not got too much of a dip in your lower back. So you just want to like tuck the tailbone under a little bit, but not too much. So you don't want to flatten the lower back off. So it's just drawing it down slightly and you're probably just activating your lower abdominals slightly as well. And then just tune into some nice deep breathing. So you can breathe through your nose, um, in and out through your nose, or if you prefer sort of in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, so we're going to do right arm coming across first. So bringing your right arm across in front of you, you're going to bend your right elbow and then you want it pretty much like central to your body. You're going to pass your left arm under and then this is where you realise how tight you are. So um, yeah, if you can, the full thing is bringing the arms round so that the, the hands are facing each other. Uh, once you're in that position, you make sure that you're drawing your shoulders down away from your ears and you just draw your chin down slightly so you, that you're lengthening through the back of your neck. You connect with your breathing. So if you've struggled to get into this position, you might find that you can do it like that or you might find that you've really just got a big gap. So if you like that, this is where the belt can come in handy. So right try and work out what I'm doing so you're going to take the belt in your right hand and then you do that so you're bringing your right arm first left arm under and then you're going to take hold of the belt in the left hand <laughs> and then you're going to hold it there so hopefully that'll give you a little bit more of a stretch so you might find just to like walk, walk the hand up a little bit so you get more of a stretch um, and just hold it there so the aim in this one is, which is quite good if you've got another person, you can actually get somebody to push down just lightly onto your shoulders. So I want you to imagine that you've like maybe got a bit of a weight or something on your shoulders. So the aim is to keep the shoulders down so that we're really lengthening up through the back of the neck and we get more of a stretch then. So once you're in position, um, if it feels comfy, if you want to increase the stretch, the, you're then going to keep your shoulders where they are, but you're going to take your hands and your elbows up. So you'll feel that increase the stretch. So really nice stretch. <laughs> and then just, um, just hold it there and breathe into the stretch. So I always, once I've got into it, I always sort of check my alignment. So I found that my lower back started to dip a little bit now again. So I'm just going to draw my tailbone under slightly so that I'm not forgetting about my back. I'm keeping my back active and sort of keeping my core active. So yeah, you've either got somebody pe pressing down on your shoulders or you're just imagining you've got a weight on your shoulders, keeping your shoulders down. So you feel that lengthening up through the back of your neck, all the way up along your spine. So sort of lengthening up through into the crown of your head. So you can breathe deep into your belly. And then also what I like to imagine is on the exhale, I kind of um, 
that's when I breathe away any tension and possibly just increase the stretch slightly. It's, it's very subtle. So you're holding your position where it is. But as you exhale, you can maybe imagine that your fingers are going up a little bit higher and your shoulders, you're like breathing your shoulders down really. So you might not actually physically make any movement, but it's just about breathing away any tension. So if you've not done this one before, if you find it quite strong, you might just want to hold for a few breaths. So sort of 15, 20 seconds is enough to get benefit. If you feel okay in it, um, or if you've done it quite a few times before, you might want to hold it a bit longer. So you can really just sort of tune into your body. When you're ready to come out, do it on an exhale. Bring the hands and elbows down. And then just unkill the arms and... Oh, <laughs> give that arms a shake so I was doing a bit of high intensity sport yesterday so I'm feeling really tight today so great one to do after the day after you've done sport great so um yeah we'll do it on the other side so this time you're going to bring your uh, did I say right arm it's right should be left arm this time left arm across in front and then right arm under so again, you might notice the difference between left and right. Um, you might have been okay on the other side, but then this side you might find that you need the belt. So you could take the, the belt in your left hand. I'm getting my left and right mixed up. So you could take the belt in your left hand if you needed to and hold there. So if you don't, if you're all right, you could just do backs of arms, that's fine. Or you can do the full version. So keeping your shoulders down, check the alignment of your spine. So you're drawing your tailbone down slightly, activate the muscles in your lower abdomen and lengthen up through your spine, up through the back of your neck. Draw the crown of your head upwards. Connect with your breathing. And then if you want to increase the stretch, hands and elbows are going up, but shoulders stay down and then we just hold it there. So you can do your nice deep belly breathing. So try and keep your arms central to your body and fingers pointing straight up. Breathe your shoulders down on your exhale. Keep your chin down slightly so that you're lengthening through the back of your neck. And when you're ready to come out, you come out on an exhale. And just have a little shake out as well. Okay, so I'll write a little bit more about it in um, underneath in the comments. Uh, just sort of any contraindications and benefits of this one as well. So um, enjoy practicing and see you soon.